Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you get a reason for the wardling? No, oh, I'm uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <sighs> there. Ah, <sighs> doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Your brother doesn't want to tell me what happened. But I already know. Oh, I really hope things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmore. 
I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn near loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Me. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay! Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. No! Stop! Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. I'm impressed. Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking... It might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. Best of luck. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies.
Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Arthur. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Though, if Mira's right about an army from the south, perhaps now is the time to strike. Where is he? Where is my brother? Oh, my lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. <laughs> I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. <laughs> he was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies, Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk. Defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. In front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course. 
and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Thank you for your help. They'll be very grateful. I better go before she sees me. She will be. Mira Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But... It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. It may have cost me a lot. I know. Thanks, Asha. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're back. <laughs> Uncle, let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. I assure you, he means no disrespect. I don't have patience for arrogant sellswords. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? You offer silence? I thought you told me your nephew was a man of honor. But he cannot even take responsibility for his actions. Your Grace. You killed the master de Zorzoraza when I told you his judgment belonged to the slaves of Marine. And now you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But, Your Grace, the mission was a success. 
I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? I have plans for my uncle as well. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. We're out of options. I need your help, Beska. Oh, I need this. I need that. <laughs> You're just a spoilt lordling under it all, aren't you? I'll make it up to you, all of it, I swear it. If you think we can find a false in Marine, I need to hear it. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess... I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. 
How did my brother get that gash in his arm? Ooh, what does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... Well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. I'm sorry I lied. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Garrett. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrod. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, <laughs> I'd be as lost as you. 
Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. Little Moon. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Wonder if her mother gave her that. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So your shit then. I think you need more training. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrod. Well, since we don't have any food... What's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. 
And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. Damn it! This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've got enough gold to buy them all. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what?! What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Asha. The servants and guards of his house, they killed them all. Why? Some of these must have been slaves too. Because they felt like it. That's a good enough reason for this lot. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska! Fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. 
You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me, on all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. Sail with me to Westeros and do to my enemies what you do best! Slay them all and lay waste to their lands! You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Blood Song. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. 
Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy.
Let the little man. Do it! Do it! Where I come from, we don't kill people for sport! The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Those things! Oh, God. Over here! Over here! Be killed. Oh, son. Where's Finn? He was over there! Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! But we need to stick together! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. 
I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I'd rather not say, Your Grace. You'd rather I didn't know about your issues with Lord Andros? You forget who I am. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. You will speak when spoken to, girl! <laughs> Perhaps I was wrong to call you here. I want answers, not your blank stare. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I'll make sure she does as she's told, Your Grace. Fair enough. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. <laughs>